So, Mr. Brooks, uh, yes. I understand you're headed up to uh, Blue Stock tomorrow? Well, actually, I'll be there Saturday, uh, okay. August 27th. So. Okay. Okay. Edit that way, yes. Okay. That's that's a first, uh, that's sort of a maiden voyage concert. Uh, yeah. What do you think of it? It's a lot of big... I think it's a historic concert. Uh, it's got a lot of legendary acts on it, and uh, I'm just honored to be part of it. Okay. Are you a little worried about the weather? Because apparently... Yeah. Her... Ah. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, it holds out until after everything is done. <laughs> Okay. Listen, I also wanted to ask you about the Chicago scene. Uh, I mean, I understand that the uh, Blues Festival's been cut back three days. It seems like the things are a little tough out there in terms of the music. Uh, yeah. Live it's, performances. That's all over the country, all over. Um, they cut it down to three days. And, um, yeah, it's, it's tough. And then we got a new mayor coming in, and, and uh, he's making some changes. And we're just hoping that we can coerce him to go back to four days again. And, uh, because it's one of the, it is the biggest blues festival in the world, free blues festival in the world. So, and Chicago's known for that. So, I'm hoping that we can just spread that out. I think it'd be better for the city overall. But the city's, you know, caught up with bills right now and they're trying to cut back on a lot of things, not just the blues festival, but a lot of things. And, and uh, we're just trying to keep it alive and thriving. Right, that's great. Um, now, in terms of recording, what are you doing these days? I'm, I'm working, man, writing, doing some songwriting right now, trying to get in the studio at the end of this year. And uh, we're doing some songwriting and uh, just preparing as much as I can, along with touring. Right. And uh, I finished working on my dad's record. I did a, I produced a record over in Europe for a group called uh, the uh, Juke Joints. And did Eddie Clearwater's, I produced Eddie Clearwater's record, a guy in Chicago named Eric Davis. I worked on Nelly Travis CD, Biscuit Miller CD, everybody else CDs, but I, right now I'm working on songs for myself. Okay, when are we going to see some of those CDs out? Uh, I'm hoping, like I said, uh, beginning of next year, end of this year, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, what's what's uh, what's your dad been up to lately? See? Working, man. We just did a tour together. Uh, me, him, and my brother Wayne, Becky Brooks. Right. We did a tour in Canada a week a week in Canada and it was awesome. So my brother, he's got a hot track out now with Twister, the rapper Twister. Right. And uh, so we're just trying to keep it alive, man. The Brooks family, trying to keep the legacy going. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. Uh, your family's like one of the ones that first to kind of experiment with, uh, among the first to experiment with rap and blues. Yeah. Kind of mix it up. Do you think that they, what have you, uh, what the results of? Well, man, I think it's, you know, Some blues, people say they were, those two the styles blues is the truth, and some of the rap is the truth. Right. It's just, you know, the blues is the, the grandfather. The rap is the, the, the grandbaby. And, okay. Uh, some of it is, I think when it's artistically, you know, planned out and done, it's been done great. And uh, as well, as it's got that, that truthness in it. And, and that's the blues. The blues is always the truth. Right. And so what I try to do and what... You know, my interpretation of it is to build that bridge, right, to where the young people can feel what I'm doing, and the old people can feel what the young people are doing. So that's what I try to do when I incorporate that. Bridge. So there is a link, you think, between the two? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Well, it's all started with black music. You know, uh, hip hop started in the black community, and blues started in the black community. Right. So you got to have some similarity, similarities there. And, uh, I think it's just a new day, the new day blue. Okay. Are you still working with Jelly Bean Johnson? Oh, yeah. I just talked to Bean today. He's busy, man. He's busy doing a one legged man in an ass kicking contest. Okay. okay. <laughs> He's doing the time, the original time. He's doing the family. He comes out and plays with me. So, yeah, I still work with Bean. That's my brother, always. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank Appreciate you, bro. It. Okay. Right. Take care. Okay, wait a minute.